Like you heard, it's National Doctor Day, and you really don't need me to tell you how thankful we are for all the doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals fighting this pandemic in the front lines every single day. It's left a lot of us wondering, what can we do to help? Well, a coalition of lawn care companies says they have an answer. On Time has been in business for about 15 years, and they mostly service commercial properties, so larger accounts. When On Time Land Care CEO Wade Gurton bought the business in November, pandemic wasn't something he had a contingency plan for. When we bought the company, one of the draws of the company was that it was fairly recession proof. The grass still grows and the snow still falls, you, you know, typically. Um, but yeah, we didn't expect this kind of a this kind of a crisis to happen. Right now, they're in a lull, not only because the snow isn't falling and the grass has yet to grow, but also because they've been categorized as a non-essential yeah, business. I think a lot of uh, people in this industry right now, on one hand, everyone got really excited because it's an early spring. Finally, we can all get out and uh, start to work. And then all of a sudden we had to stop. But I think we all understand um, how important it is not to work. On time land care, all of a sudden had a lot of time. So Curtin got to thinking. Now is a good opportunity to come up with something to give back to the industry shielding us from the coronavirus. This idea of helping the healthcare workers, so the people that are out on the front lines working 80 hours a week plus and uh, putting themselves in danger, um, they're not able to do a lot of things that they can normally do at home, and one of them might be lawn mowing. So we thought, well, why don't we take care of their lawns? It's the least we can do while they're taking care of all of us. Gurton launched MedLawns.com. All a medical professional needs to do is sign up, take a picture of their essential employee letter, and someone from a growing list of participating companies will come out to mow the yard free of charge. It actually feels really good. Yeah. And I think that's why so many people are signing up to help us do this, mm -hmm. is it feels like there is something that you can do, you know, and um, so I think we all kind of Appreciate that and are railing around that a little bit. Curtin says he's hoping he can get folks signed up early so he can get going as soon as the essential business restrictions are lifted from his company. It's his way of giving back precious time lost by those fighting the pandemic. When do you guys plan on stopping? Uh, when the grass stops. <laughs> so it'd be fall. That's awesome. And again, lawn care is not considered essential, so it's not happening right this second, but it's going to be as soon as they're able to. So if you know a healthcare worker who might benefit from this kind of thing in the next few months, let them know that we're thankful for them, that we love them, and that they can get their lawns taken care of free of charge. That's a great move. Something you can do. We should all think about that.